Beaufort has Australia's oldest steam rally. Uh, yeah, Lucas, uh, 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 with a K. Um, and five seconds about me is impossible. Uh, uh, in depth, um, interesting, charming, uh, charming. <laughs> and um, yeah, is there a mirror? <laughs> no, um, I don't know, um, intriguing um, and um, desperate to start something new. So uh, what what are these things that you make, sir? Well, I, I, I don't, sir, that's not, um, what is it? Well, I call them industrial flowers um, with a purpose, I suppose. No, I just look too close to that. But, but on the flowers, they're more attractive than what I am. But they're um, they're um, they're, they're everyday. Well, they're the everyday gardener, right? They're sort of people that sort of like, um, I suppose, um, boyfriends for girlfriends, flowers that last forever, sometimes longer than the actual. Um, Boyfriend, I suppose, or girlfriend. <laughs> it's um, something you can give and you can look at rather than sort of look at and then throw in the bin. Um, also, they're just, um, it's just an imagination of, um, of what a flower could be and what, what it is. And I find that like the, the death of a flower actually can be one of the most beautiful things to look at with the leaves when they start um, turning, which I have a good example of. Right here. Well, if you can do that. Yeah, we one minute. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you get like different combinations like that. It's beautiful. And I've freeze that up with a bit of. And it's like it, it shows that like um the the dying process can actually be quite a wonderful experience. And it actually shows that life can be um, life goes on. And um, things like this um end up getting in your way all the time. The Humpty Dumpty, we all know about him. There's a little carousel. He used to be my. I had him on a big uh, stand at one stage. And I had him. At, I was getting to sell him for three hundred dollars, and now he's up worth fifty cents. He's fallen twice off my umbrella. Yeah, he does fall, Humpty Dumpty. That's a true <laughs> story about him. Just going for a toilet break here in uh, Beaufort. Um, walking along the main drag, as you can see in the background. Um, passing some, passing some locals, and uh, just coming to past the post office, and. They have got, <laughs> check it out, here's the, the local internet uh, internet store, I guess. It is, it's called Internet Access. So, not sure if they've just gotten, uh, what's in there, what's in there? They're not sure if they've just gotten, okay. oh, it's just got the reflection across the road. So maybe they just got uh, loc uh, 2G up here. Um, maybe they're going to get 3G soon. Yeah, I've been looking for that for three days. Yeah, that's that one piece, and I just found it earlier, and I got so excited. That is, I, I go to return. That's what it says on it, and it took three days. So, and then we are. Come on. There's a local bin with a uh, metal tea pot on top. Living amongst all this is wonderful too, it, it does have its moments, but it gets to a stage where you think, well, what will I do next? But then I'll go down and I'll see a spare tire, uh, and I'll go, well, that looks like a picture to go. And then I think, well, what am I going to do with that? I mean, what's the purpose of that? I think, well, I've got these other little bits. So I'll whack it on there and then and they become applications on applications. So, I mean, I hardly use glue anymore too. I used to, when I first started, I used to use glue all the time. So, and then I've, I've gone back and looked at my old work and thought, oh my God, I've got to redo that, it's not quite right. And all the glue on it, I thought, no, but now glue is not really a, a, a purpose really for me. What it is now is the termination hairspray, nail varnishes, and basically will, and a little bit of glue, and a lot of actually, um, let's just say, I call it anal at times, anal, um, but some of it is, I mean, some of it is. But what it is, it's like, um, it's hard to describe, but it's, um, it's easy to see. But it's really difficult to explain if that all makes sense. I it's thought this was your I thought this was your shop. Is nah, this where you live? I'm gonna sell this whole I'm gonna walk out of here with a bag of clothes and I'm in hopefully within the next six months. Taxi and I'm gonna start the next chapter of my life and I don't know what it's gonna be. I'm fifty already, my life's quite gone like that. I've gotta go. I, I don't know what under a rock, maybe lobster farmer or a, it's like a blank canvas and I need to do it. I mean life is um, precious and it's short and it's really possessions, yeah, they're good. But for me, I've done it. I've um, I've gone through loss. I've lost my parents, and I know what possessions mean. And I know what what love is, and I know what 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 time is. And also, these things can hold you back. Um, I have a 22 year old cat that refuses to leave me. I love my cat, but it's responsibilities that I don't want anymore. I want to actually just, uh, just... just crossing the road right now here in the main drag of of Beaufort, and um, coming across the road here to the uh, beautiful. 
Beauford uh, Fire Station, established in 1874. Um, it's a lovely old building. This is the one, one little door there. It's got a, a number lock for you to get in. So I'm not sure if you're, uh, if you, if you don't know the number to get into the fire station, then um, if you saw a fire in town and wanted to put it out, then how, how you would get in and get access to the, to a hose and some water, if you didn't know the number key. Maybe everyone in Beaufort knows uh, the code, uh, the pin number. Um, maybe it's not that hard. Maybe it's maybe it's triple zero. Maybe it's just one digit. Maybe it's seven. I wouldn't imagine it would be uh, a complicated 10 digit number. Uh, maybe it's in the local gazette. Here is the local mechanics institute, uh, built in 1873 presumably. Um, free library, um, it's closed today. Um, have some rehearsals here for the Beaufort Brass, the art group and, and the craft group. Just next to the mechanics institute, We've got this lovely little building it says it's a way bridge um, it's a lovely little cottage I'd like to live in there It'd be nice and cozy in winter um, I'm not sure how to way bridge I thought a way bridge was where you drive your car or your truck onto and and, and you can weigh how much it is so I don't know do, do people walk in there and get weighed is that how it works in these old country towns I'm not too sure ah there's a little sign here here we go Built by the Shire of, of Ripon in 1874. Um, it's a tool shed. Some local Melbourne tourists uh, taking photos. So what do you think of Beauford? We found a house that we want to own. How much do you reckon it would cost? It was three, what? 365. 365. $365? Five bedrooms, 20 acres. Five bedrooms, 28 acres. for. 365 grand yeah and, it, and it's mud brick so we could all put in what just under 100 grand each yes yes and get it yes. but we weren't inviting you because we didn't have like a hand on you what, sorry, what? Oh, I'm not invited. This is awkward now. This is awkward. <laughs> I'm not invited because you, you wouldn't be able to handle me on the farm. Yeah. Do you think I'm an animal? Yeah. So little towns um, aren't just about um, the architecture and the crappy coffee and smoke, romantic smoke coming out of chimneys. It's about the people and things happening in people's lives. Uh, we've just uncovered our first bit of drama here at Beaufort. Um, I don't know if you can see the sign, but um, supposedly there's no youth space tonight on the 8th of June um, because Chappie had to go to a funeral. That's it. Whenever I'm really bored, I come out and I sort of um, start getting the wire and I started, um, when I'm, I made this frame, I made it really quickly, easily, quickly, like the wire. I thought, gee, that was quick, Lucas. And then I spent the next um, 60 hours, it's whenever I'm bored, I come out and I just weave it. And like the spiders in there, there's a few babies on me, there's a bit of everything really, there's a clown in there. And this is the most dangerous one here. It's not even the, um, the spider, it's a, it's a black fly. Um, he's the one, he, he, he sings you, you'll know all about it. Apparently. 